Against the backdrop of a raging COVID epidemic and a quite visceral Black Lives Matter movement, Abroad While Black was born. Our goal was to highlight Black perspectives from all over the world. It was our way of proving there are other ways to live, other places to be successful, and different cultures that embrace our Blackness. In 2020, the Abroad While Black team created dozens of responsive hot takes and thoughtful interviews covering topics ranging from current events, business opportunities, dating, and life-changing moments. In 2021, our co-hosts Cordy and Sean aim to share more success stories, more productive introspection, and most importantly, how to relocate to a place that truly values what you offer the world. Abroad While Black is more than a show. This is a social experiment hell-bent on discovering new ways to secure the bag and live our best lives. Join the Abroad While Black squad. to look at like just like what are some of like the ways you can retrofit your business to make it easier for your customer to interact with um how do you find ways to create more value you'll have a lot of ideas within your business oh we should do this oh we should do that stop and think do people that are going to be buying your products or services want your bright ideas like i think that when it comes down to these growth strategies that you're going to be uh creating um it's a similar lesson that I learned from design, right? Because you are designing um, something. And what I mean by design is the user interface that you see. So when you're using applications online, when you're using your website and different things like that, I hear, and I've given scholarships for, for some of you from uh, the ingressive community who kind of be, may be following and listening to the video. Um, we gave away scholarships. Part of the reason why some people didn't get the scholarships because there were people who understood what they were about to do in this product UI UX space. And there are people who thought that it, they, they had dreams and hopes and goals and vision. And, I, and I, I want the best for them. But when it comes to giving resources to somebody, I have to give it to the person most likely to give the best return, to leverage it the most, to create the most impact. And those are going to be the people who understand what they're doing. So when I'm reading through certain things, and there are some people who are saying on one side, not the good side, there are people on this one side saying that, oh, uh, because I'm good with colors and I understand fashion and all of these other different things that uh, I should get the scholarship and, and be UI UX designer. And the thing is, like, if you said you felt like those things would make you a better UI UX designer, there's a difference between this is why because I'm creative. Nah, fam, that's not, it's not about your creativity. It's about you being able to create what the customer wants. Um, so from that perspective, um, being able to put things together and, and do things well is good and it's great. Um, but you have to be able to separate yourself from the product. Meaning if somebody tells you, this is not what I want, you have to be able to respect that and be able to say, okay, maybe this is not what I should be making. And that's what you find in the design process. And that's what you find in uh, when you're creating customer focused businesses. You you have to kind of remove that inner part of yourself where like, this is my heart. This is my goal. This is the only thing I've wanted to do since I'm a little girl. Nah, fam. What you need to do is make money and pay your bills. So what that involves is giving people.